couple months ago, we helped a, an auto electrician uh, customer to replace and code a new battery in an Audi Q7. Everybody knows that uh, the uh, VW Audi vehicles use uh, a uh, special system which does the uh, energy management consumption on the vehicle. This energy system requires very high precision uh, in the uh, adjustments and uh, operation in order to uh, do properly uh, the, the energy saving uh, task. The networking system of the car, like the CAN bus, the LIN and uh, the fiber optic lines, the most uh, turn it automatically off by the energy management system when they be is not being used. Um, as the vehicle b battery capacity, the, as the battery becomes older and older, the, but the capacity drops and the self-learning function on the energy management system, it uh, finds out uh, earlier that the battery is, is being full and it interrupts the charging. So. Uh, when the new fitted battery on the car uh, is being uh, installed in the vehicle and the energy management system is already being adapted on the old battery, the new battery never becomes fully charged. That means that uh, soon the new battery is going to die and the car and the customer will return back to you with an empty battery and uh, everybody has been wondering wh why that happens uh, since the battery is, is new um, okay however the newly fitted battery after the adaptation okay is going to, to receive the optimum uh, current from the alternator. Obviously, we, ne we have to use in our uh, uh, scanner to, to program and adapt the new battery with the uh, new ma engine management, with the electrical energy management system. This process called the uh, call it encoding which is erases the old adapt adaptation values in the control unit and replaces with uh, the new adaptation values so the battery the new battery is going to be fully charged from now on that this is a uh, very important point the new battery which we get uh, for replacement. It has to be stuck it on it the BEM tag. Have a look what is the BEM tag. The BEM tag is a tag which contains all the coding and programming information uh, for, for the battery and will be, will be installed uh, in, in the car. Uh, only few vendors provide, unfortunately, uh, this BEM tag. Not all batteries are uh, equipped with uh, this tag on the on the um, on the stick uh, that that sticker on the battery. Uh, that is a few of the manufacturers which uh, provide batteries with a BEM tag, and uh, but is not the only one. Uh, Once uh, probably uh, could be more but uh, this is for your information okay and be sure before you get the battery that the battery contains the BM tag again on its body here is how uh, the BM uh, tag looks like it's it's a sticker which is over over the battery on the battery top and says BM code and contains the serial number 
the vendor, vendor code which in this case VAO means Varta battery and the part number of the battery the battery is located under the passenger seat in the passenger compartment of course so uh, the guys they took a few minutes until they replaced the battery and after we fit the battery okay. we use the iScan WT in order to uh, program uh, we set up the as you see the uh, vehicle we select uh, uh, the uh, initializing the software it takes uh, all the procedures takes about a few minutes We select Audi, of course. We select Q7. OK, after 2007, it did, that is 2010. And then we go in to the uh, energy management system. You will see it, it's uh, it built in in the Canvas uh, computer number 19 yes it's connected and give us the uh, uh, system information and then we go to the adaptation number 12 we adapt uh, the system manually we select the appropriate channel 04 and then we start to introduce the number of the uh, BEM ticket Triple nine. We copy the numbers from the BEM ticket and we enter by using the uh, keyboard of the scan tool. We have to be careful when we distinguish between 0 and O. Be careful, this is the O letter, okay? The 0 letter is with the dash. Be careful. You can see, uh, we will indicate here, uh, or you can see also in the number on the top that the uh, uh, zero number has a, dia a diagonal uh, dash in the middle, So, but the O letter doesn't, okay. Uh, it's very clear. Also, pay attention on the spaces. The, the, top, num the top serial number uh, it's separate from the vendor by the uh, three, three spaces but because the serial number in, in the new battery is 11 digits it takes two spaces be careful on the uh, spaces then you, we put the vendor which is Varta of course then we use one space if the vendor has two letters it has to be three spaces but now it uh, more spaces but now uh, it's enough to put the, uh, the 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 one space and then of course we type the, the complete number there B for Bravo. Yeah. And next one After we d type the number, we make a quick check. We right see number? that the number is the correct yeah. one, and then we press Enter, which means we enter the number in so the uh, uh, in inside the the, uh, the the scanner. The Be careful uh, from the scanner to the to the uh, engine management co uh, energy management computer. Be careful, you see there that the old setting uh, indicates the previous battery setting. The new setting is what we have uh, entered, and the current yeah. setting is and after the we confirm with the end. Now, now, next step 
is to turn ignition off and remove the key so we allow the registration to the en energy management control unit put it on again ignition on yes checking for fall codes We, we check again if the number has been properly uh, introduced. Yes. Manual and zero four channel. Yes, the number is what yes. we selected to put it in. Good job. Okay, complete. Yeah. Exit. Exit. Yeah. Exit. And, and now uh, we check for fault codes. Uh, no fault codes. Yes. No fault codes. And the job okay. has done. We go to the uh, data stream and we check the arms for the battery that is being registered. And 55 amps, 12.4 volts. Everything is alright. Thank you.